Yo, Shalom, what's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? This is YYBY. All praise to the Most High, y'all, with Yahushua. Um, as y'all know, 2020, I think it came out like last year. Reasons, um, you know, converted to a rack. That means that you can use their plugins on every dog. So what I want to hear, you know, since everybody know about that, what I'm going to do for y'all is that I'm going to tell you the compatibility with Reasons Rack with Reaper 6. Because every once in a while I do testings on different dolls and stuff. I'm always doing testing even though I have my own certain doll I use. But I do different testings on stuff just to see what they do, see if they step their game up, see if they do anything different. So I have a few things that I'm going to talk about. You know, in short words, get straight to the point. And um, one, Reason's whole idea of making their, their uh, where you able to use their, they rack as a VST is dope. That's, that's very dope. You know, that's a very creative thing they, they, they did because most people know Reason's doll has so many limitations. It, it's, it's, if you're just a beat maker, I mean, you, 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 most likely you good, but it, even though it still have a lot of limitations when it come to media options, but, but if you're an engineer mixing and mastering, if you do, if you, uh, you know, if you export MP3s, you need that option. If you do comping post-production, so many, when it comes to that certain thing, it's so many limitations in, in, uh, in the dog reason. So what they did, they made. You know, they made it uh, as a VST because the, the most dope thing about Reasons is the rack. So that was a dope idea. And I think they should, you know, step, you know, get a little smart about it. And um, because who knows? I think they probably about to step away from uh, <clears throat> just putting out Reasons as a whole dog and just sell their rack. And where you could just buy extensions because a lot of people. And that's why I want to talk about Reaper because Reaper be perfect for this because Reaper don't really have, uh, they have plugins, but they don't have really instruments and, uh, you know, especially music instruments. And what I learned is that by using Studio One and dolls that come with their own instruments, they make they make the doll where it function better with the, instru with the stock instruments compared to third party. You know, for example, like when you're able to drag and drop inside the instrument, it, it's special little things that when you're using stock instruments that come with that doll, they have a different functionality where compared to when you're using third party stuff. And that's why me, I focus on using stock stuff. So, but I want to tell people about reasons uh, in, um, in Reaper. So I'm going to get to the point. Number one, if you have 4K Display, HI, what is called HI, uh, HIDPI. If you have that on your laptop or you have that on your screen, Reasons Rack will look small as hell. It will look very small. I mean, tiny. So, so if you, so if you on a, so if you on a laptop, if you on a laptop, it's gonna look even small, man. It's gonna look way small. You gotta have a laptop that's or a computer that's nineteen twenty and down. 1920 to 1080, I did the testing. And that's when you get a nice big size of it. Even if you go change the resolution on your computer, it won't change the resolution of the reasons rack inside your doll, inside Reaper 6. It won't change it. It still be small as hell. Um, but if, like I say, if you got a computer that's 1920 resolution and down, then you you have a nice size uh you know dog whatever and everything uh number 2 how can i say this you can't drag and drop samples into the reasons rack so that means that if you want to sample something and say you open up uh reasons drum machine the com and say you you drag a file it's our, you know, Reaper sequencer and you chop it up bar or whatever, how you chop it up. And you want to get those files and drop it inside the, you know, the drum machine or the NXT. It ain't going to happen. 
actually got like a little block where it say you can't load nothing in it or something like that. You can't load no samples in it like that at all. In the drum machine, the sampler, you can't do no drag and drop. What it'll tell you is that the only way that functionality work if you are using the complete uh, reasons. You know what I'm saying? So that's very important. That, that I was like, wow, you know, I wasn't feeling that. Um, but what you can do, number three. Now, if you chop up the sample <laughs> in the DAW, then export it, export the samples out the DAW to your desktop, right? And then go inside the NXT. And go to like the, the, the open up the bottom window and click on one of the, the sample squares and press load, like press load. And uh, where it have an option where it say browse samples and you press load, then it'll give you an option where you can click on your desktop. Then you could bring those samples in that way. Like that's too much, you know. Now, if you're just doing one sample, yeah, but I don't, I don't know how it would act, you know, how it would respond if you. If you bring in multiple samples like that. So that means that you got to put it inside the DAW, chop it up, export it out to the desktop, and then bring it in back in, you know, in, uh, in reasons. That's doing too much. Number four, the automation, trying to connect automate, trying try to connect Trying to do automation with the knobs on reasons. It's, it's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. And also, like, say if you got a MIDI controller, and let's say you want to link one of your MIDI controller knobs, like, for example, like this keyboard right here, you got, like, different controllers and everything. If you want to link one of these controllers right here to one of the knobs in the, uh, one of the, one of the knobs you know, inside of, uh, on, uh, the VSC instrument in, in reasons. And so you could do automation. So you could be hands-on doing automation. When you go to the, the perimeters and you click on the menu, it look, it looked like a bunch of, look like a dictionary. It's lined up like a dictionary of words. It's like where his design is just so, Headache, like you. As soon as you open it up, you don't even be like, oh, I don't even want to connect nothing. Forget it. Seriously, it just, it just, it's a headache. It, it, just, it won't function right. It won't. Now, any other door, I don't know, but this is only for Reaper, because you know Reaper menus already you know kind of, you know, suck anyway. You ask me, even though it give you a lot of options and everything, which is dope. But like they, they, they automation menu is. Need some work, man. It's so it's so far behind compared to Studio One. Um, number five. Let's say you in the rack. Say you open up Reasons and you put a VST in. You drop one VST in. You drop two VSTs. Okay, let's. I'm gonna say. Rewind the back. Let's say. You open up one one track. You drop a a, a, MIDI, a MIDI track on Reasons. I mean, on, on Reaper, and you drag in um, a Reasons rack. You open up Reasons rack. You have an option to put in how many VSC instruments in that rack, if you want. You can use the combinator, or you could just drop them in. You could add a Thor. You could add an NXC under that. And when you add all these together, they will play together like a multi-instrument, okay? They will play together. But when it's time to route each instrument to its own mixer track in Reaper, it is a heady. I couldn't even get it to work. If somebody knows something I don't know, and I'm normally good at routing stuff, and, uh, you know... It's a headache, man. It's confusing, like, you know, because end of the day, you want to mix each one separate. And uh, when you go mess with the route and stuff, it, it, it's impossible. It's not, it's not, it, it don't function well with it. It do. And the funny thing about it, when you, when you open up, 
when you drop them when you drop the instrument track in Reaper and you open up um the reasons rack, it got two options where it'll say uh reasons effects and reasons instruments, and it'll have like the routing numbers. You know, show you how many routing numbers you can use. And so when you click on it, and even if you go turn the, the reasons rack, you know, behind, you know, around, and you just ring the stuff at the top, you know, you would think that once you connect one of your, one of the uh, <coughs> the VSC instruments to one of the, the, the three and four or the four and five or the five and six routing, it'll automatically connect like to the um, the routing on uh, reasons. On me on Reaper. But it sucks. It's horrible, man. It's horrible. Yes, it's horrible. Um, so, yeah, the only good thing I've I seen, you know, so far right now is that you able to uh, use the rack inside Reaper or any other dog. Yeah. And so this is for the heads up for people who haven't used, you know, who curious about using the, um, the rack inside Reaper 6. Uh, if you have any more questions, you'd like to know more information of, you know, what it can and what it can't do, hit me up, subscribe, and let me know. This is YYBY. Peace.